Welcome back everybody to this new video tech press. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with one order test set to book it away and without having to pay absolutely anything uh, here into using real money. You don't have to use your real money actually. So to get started first of all, we're going to understand the Shopify Bogus Getaway. So the Shopify Bogus Getaway is a test payment provider that allows you to simulate transactions without actual money changing hands. So this one is perfect for testing the checkout flow and the payment processing. So if I sign into my store, into my dashboard, let's locate the left part that says settings. Inside here, I'm going to look out for settings and it will focus for payments. Now click into manage and then what you need to do is to choose the ad provider. Now under alternative payment method, which in this case here it is, I can add payment method. And here what you can do is to select bogus getaway. Now, just in case that you don't see this payment method or a provider, what you can do is to try it out with more elements. Uh, for example, let's go for Stripe. So I can go here back, I can go for Stripe and I can go for Managed. So here into Managed, I can look out for change a provider, choose another provider. And then what you want to do is to make sure that there's an actual provider that as you can see, it says for testing bugs getaway. So I select it, I enable the bugs getaway and I go for activate. So we can use the following codes to place this into a credit card number we're checking out. So that means if I wanted to check what happens when somebody has a getaway failure, I type three. If I wanted to choose two or one, depending on what is the actual element of that. So let's go back. I make sure this one appears as active. As you can see, it says payment for testing goals getaway active. Now let's go and close this and let's start by making some test to order. So as you can see, I didn't have to pay absolutely anything. I didn't add a credit card or anything like that. Now I'm going to go for my online store to build my online store and start making the testament here. So just select one product which you'd like to make the test. For example, let's take this one and I go directly from add to cart. I go for checkout and automatically this could be sending us directly into the contact section to make the payment. So if I scroll all the way down, we have the credit card section which says credit card number, expiration date, security code, and name of card. So here into name of card, let's go for Tech Express. Expiration date, just look out for something in the future, for example, 1226. Security code, let's go for one to three. And the card number in my case, let's go into settings once again. Let's go for payments. Inside payments, I go for managed. So I need to type one of these numbers. Let's simulate a decline transaction and go for pay now. Now you can see this is the order has been processing and now there's an issue processing your payment. Try again or use a different payment method. This is how we can make the trial of one credit card that is declined. Now let's try with something different. So 26, one, two, three, name on card, it's expressed. And the card number here for a successful and approved transaction is number one. So I go back, enter only one and I go for pay now. So your order has been processed and automatically here is the confirmation of my product. Your order is confirmed. This is the payment method, the billing address, uh, the continue shopping. You can just go to uh, use as I just did here. I just added a fake billing address and a fake shipping address. So you just going to be testing this. Now let's go back into Shopify. I'm going to close this and let's focus into the lab part that says orders. Inside order, you can see that we have this order being created today at 152 the customer, the channel, the total, the payment status, and the items. So I can select the order to check out more information about this testing mode. So as you can see, your payment getaway is in the test mode, unfulfilled. And of course, somebody make this fake payment. So that means there is no money in here. They won't be charged for absolutely anything. That's the reason why we're going to be using these actual elements. So you can understand what happens when somebody make late order. So when somebody make an order, you're going to be seeing that we have the information about the location, delivery method, the paid element, the taxes that you have paid, the timeline, the tax, fraud analysis, conversion history, the customer value. And what you can do is to add more action, for example, front and flow automation, view order status page, cancel the order, make a refund, depending on what you're actually checking out here into the test view. Lastly, I can go select my order, three dots, and I can cancel the order if I think I am now ready to get started with a real uh, transaction. So let's go back into settings. And back into settings, what you can do now is to change from the bogus getaway. You're going to go here for the payment once again. 
and into payments go for managed and I change this and I delete the buckles getaway or I deactivate it so I can add a real transaction method to install and choose a actual provider. So guys, that is it. That is how we can actually test your Shopify checkout using the Bugs Getaway with no spending any real money. We didn't spend absolutely anything though. So if this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe to the Express and hit the notification bell to more helpful tutorials. Thank you so much for watching the video guys. Hopefully we can all see you next time.